Well, Pete, already an exciting time for the football club back in League One. Liverpool coming next week, but I think this is the most exciting news yet. Um, coming to the bowl, talk oh, us through it. I've got to be honest, this is the best news, best news for years. Uh, because this is all about getting the infrastructure right for the club and for the city. Um, and we've all seen the bowl not doing as much as we'd liked it to have done over the recent years. There's never maybe been the deals in place for people to invest the money that needs to be invested here to make it competitive. But what we can do by bringing the training ground here and using the whole site, uh, we can bring it to life 365 days a year. We're going to have um, enhanced cycling facilities as well here so the bowl becomes a really important circuit. Uh, and, and and all in all, we can just make the place be more about what it should be about. And that is as an iconic part of Milton Keynes. We'll talk about the football point of view first. Um, like you said, this has been something that's been the missing link of the football club with the stadium going up. And, uh, you know, it's been, we've had many conversations about training grounds. It's been mentioned at every fans forum. And um, while there's still a long way to go, I mean, look at the press release. It's going to take some time as the stadium did. But this is a real step forward, isn't it? And, and there seems to be some light at the end of the tunnel now. Well, there is, because you've got to have the place where you can really work the plans up. And, uh, you know, this will be big enough to do everything that we want to do. Category one, you know, uh, we'll have enough pitches to be able to do absolutely everything that we need to do. It's a 49-acre site, um, but we're going to use it well. Um, the first scene we'll be using the inside of the bowl. We'll have the academy over in the, one of the north car parks. We'll have all of our community facilities and our training astroturf facilities, etc. Um, out at the front, we'll have can, buildings that can talk to each other. And that infrastructure is what will make it live, but it's going to take some time. I am scared that people think you just click your fingers and something like this happens. It doesn't. What I'm so grateful for is the opportunity that the council and MKDP have, have given me to try and realise that dream. Uh, people have called it my last hurrah. It, it probably is because this is the final piece of the jigsaw. And in doing it, we'll make it better for concerts, better for events. I don't want to suddenly do loads of events. We've got the stadium that does most of those in, in Mills and Keynes. But there are special things that can happen in this place. This is a place where special things have happened. It's a place that has history and it's an iconic brand of Mills and Keynes. And I want to do something that can make us proud. Uh, you mentioned it's going to be an investment. Um, it's going to take some time. What is that plan? Is, is the money there now? Is it a case of over time and uh, building it bit by bit, similar to how the stadium was built? I can absolutely see doing it in phases. I think that's very realistic, Anthony. And I can't tell you today exactly how we're going to do what because we're working really hard on making sure all the deals come together that allow us to go forward. What I have is the confidence of what we've been able to do in the past. We set our ambition absolutely at the top. And yet it took us you know, maybe seven years to get the first part done. And it was 14 years before we'd finished the whole thing for in time for Rugby World Cup. But we got there and we never diminished our ambition. I want to have the same attitude with the bowl. So I hope people can give me uh, the, the, the time to be able to do the right things. But what I can commit to is we won't do anything unless it's really great. And to make sure it is and to make sure it works not just for sport, but for our community and for our concerts and for events here, we've got Populous back. They're the architects of the stadium. They've just done Tottenham's. They did Wembley. They did Arsenal's. Yeah, they're the biggest players in, 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 the, in the world. And uh, I think to have them involved again, that's also very exciting. It's like putting the old gang back together. Uh, time has moved on, but our ambition hasn't, and we're going to try and do something really good. As well as the football, I know, um, you know the bowl synonymous with music, similar to yourself. Uh, it's the reason why you came to Milton Keynes in the first place. Um, how important it would be well, to you to restore... I forget yeah. that, that that's actually where, I, where I'm from. It is why I'm in Milton Keynes, and, and, it, and it is like full circle. It's been great doing the concerts in the stadium this year and, uh, and working, showing that, you know, getting all those contacts back and, and, and being able to be a part of that again because it's like another, another life and another world football. And to combine those two things, I mean, probably doesn't get better than that. As I say, I can't think of a better place or a better use for the site to make sure that it gets its use because one or two concerts a year isn't enough for a place that has this majesty or the potential for this majesty. Uh, and obviously, you know, this is played host to some of the world's biggest and best and I imagine you'll be hoping that by putting this here for not only musicians but for footballers you can start continue to bring through some of the biggest well, and best like we've done in the past well I remember when you not too long ago when Brazil were here could you imagine if Brazil had trained here and then played at the stadium and uh, where are they coming back to in, in the UK when they want to come back you know that's the kind of difference it can make and I've always been aware once we got the stadium that I had to do something good we've looked at all the different things because we knew it was so important for the club to get there but this one I think combines my, uh, my, my my desire to do the right thing for Milton Keynes it's where I'm from 
from now. It's where I associate myself with. We're very proud of what we've been able to do at the stadium. We created that. This we haven't. This is an iconic brand of Milton Keynes, and so it's a different task. It's a task of nurturing, finding the things that are special and important about the place and reinforcing those. But getting that use and making sure that there's always some benefit coming from the play. I mean, that's what I think is so clever about the way we've been able to structure the deal and, and be able to make it real. And as I say, I'm grateful to the political support we've had. It needs leadership to make things happen. And, and we've been able to benefit from that. Now it's down to me. I've got to find the way to deliver. And over the next months and years, I'll be coming back and telling you where we are on that journey, what we've done about it. Um, but at least now we've got the focus. At least now we know everything's about here. The money we spend on developing the plans are real because we're going to do those plans one day. And it's not just money that's going to end up in smoke, which may be a little bit too much money has been spent on in the past. And finally, uh, as I mentioned at the top of the interview, Liverpool come into town um, and back in league. It's an exciting time to be an MK Dons fan, isn't it? Well, it is. Come on, we deserve it, don't we? Haven't we had absolute... I, I just feel so guilty for what I've put our supporters through over the last few years. And, and it's great to be able to stand here with some good news. But we all know where we've got to be. We've got to be up, the, up, the, up those leagues. Maybe putting things like this together can really give us that opportunity to bridge that gap and make sure we really can do it because Milton Keynes deserves a top-flight football team. Thanks, Pete.